is Sarah and Josh Seashell. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along because art is always better with friends. Friends, just like you. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and some colors. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's start by drawing a wiggly line right in the middle of our paper. We're going to draw a line that goes like this. And we're going to draw some wiggles that come over to the other side. God, looks like ocean waves, huh? Yeah. Then we're going to start over here on the left side and we're going to draw a curve that comes down like this and then comes in. This one can be a little wiggly too, but look at the bottom. It comes down more like this. It looks like an S curve and it also kind of looks like we're making maybe an ice cream cone. <laughs> there you go. And then let's do the same thing on the other side, except on this side, watch this. We're going to come over like this further and then come down. And then right here at the bottom, I'm going to curve in, so we have a little curved point at the bottom. So curves in really far, come in further, yes. And then at the bottom, curve up. Good job. That's the bottom of our seashell. Now let's draw the top layer. We're going to draw a curve that comes like this. We're going to come over to the other side and then connect in. It's not really looking like a seashell. Yeah, we need a few more steps. Yeah. <laughs> Now let's draw the next level of our seashell and we're going to draw a shape that comes out like this. We're going to come over and then back in. On this one, this shape inside, we're going to draw another wiggly line just like we did right here. Now let's draw another level, but this one's smaller. On top, kind of looks like we are making a cake or ice cream cone. Yeah. With donuts. Maybe these are donut layers. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw another wiggly, wiggly line inside. And then this one up here, let's draw the last level. Let's draw two curves coming out like this. And then we're going to curve in, up, and then kind of a little point at the bottom, and then curve to the other side. And then we can also draw a wiggly line inside of that shape. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit like a seashell. Let's draw the part that opens up. So we'll start here. We're going to draw a curve that comes out and down. Then we're going to curve back around and we can kind of make any shape that we want to curve into the bottom. We did it, awesome. We finished drawing our seashell. It looks really cool and I love that it takes up our whole paper. We're not completely done though. We still need to color it. Yeah, it's gonna look even more like a seashell once we color it. This part will fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You can color it any way you want. Yeah, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our seashells. They turned out perfect. I especially love yours. Thank you. That looks so much better colored in. Yeah, and also the texture. We used a light brown to first color in our seashells, and then we used darker browns to add the lines or the texture lines, and also the shading. That makes it look more 3D. Yeah, we also used a light pink to first go over this inside part, and we pressed hard close to the shell and then lightly towards the outside of the shell. Then we use a darker pink to go on top of it and to make the pink even darker. Yeah, and that makes it look like it's really going inside of the shell. What else could our art friends add to this drawing? They could add sand in the background. Oh yeah, you could finish your drawing by adding a background and sand would be really cool. Like you just found it when you were walking on the beach. Yeah, like jellyfish right here. Ooh, a jellyfish. Yeah, watch out for those. Yes. <laughs> We do, and we hope you take time to add even more things to your drawing, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.